During the summer, many people are focusing on spending time outside, surrounded by green scenery. But the Green Fair Folk Festival hopes to encourage people to think green all year round. Sarah Winkleman has more. Reduce, reuse, and recycle were the key words at the Green Festival held earlier today. There were nearly 50 vendors lining the parking lot of the Franciscan Sisters of Little Falls. In its 11th year, the Green Committee on the Sisters Campus made the festival possible. One of the first things that the Green Committee thought, well, let's expand just beyond concern for the campus here. Let's see what we can do to you know, bring the message of sustainability to a wider community. Hundreds of people can buy different locally made goods from recycled or natural materials, in addition to learning new ways to remain sustainable all year long. One of the newest programs put on by the St. Clair Library on campus is the Seed Library. You check out seeds, you plant them, you grow them, and when they produce fruit, you save that seed and then bring it back to the library so other people can check it out. In order to check out a seed from the seed library, all you have to do is look on the drawers. Anything from tomatoes to pumpkins can be found. Simply open up the drawer and inside are the seeds. It's free and it's, uh, it, part of the goal is to maintain biodiversity and to just have people Give a garden a try. If you would rather buy your fresh produce, there were plenty of vegetables for sale at the Green Festival. There were also a group there from the Purple Carrot, a soon-to-be food co-op that will bring Little Falls fresh local produce. But still other vendors recreated some crafts from things like cans, old birthday cards, and even toilet paper rolls. Well, I like to have them see the local people making things out of and reusing, recycling things like the can guy back there. Um, and just so that they know that nothing has, not everything has to go in the trash. Whether it's a large scale project or a small gesture, any progress towards a greener community is valuable. Reporting in Little Falls, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The committee plans to continue the festival the first Wednesday in August of 2018. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.